A lot of us were very excited about coming here today, weren't we? We were interested as well to see, Nim, how, what your dress was going to be like, you know, how you're going to do your hair. Callum, we were interested how you were going to look as well. <laughs> <laughs> When I first met Nim, I was like, oh, she'd be perfect for Callum. Callum's very a protective brother. He's been so generous to me, and he's been very loving, and he's been such a good older brother. Oh, I'm doing the video. Hi! And then Nim, like, she's awesome, and I'm so happy they've ended up together. Nim's always been an amazing friend. She's always been so good. I just knew they were perfect for each other when I met Nim, because she's just so lovely. Is everything I'd want for Callum? When you think of a fire, how, how long can a fire burn for? Well, potentially forever. As long as what? As long as it's been fed. When you started courting, it was sparks, didn't it? The, the, the fire of love was, was ignited and it's burning strong today. And we want to keep that going, don't we, by constant acts of love. Just a, a reassuring touch, a hug. So be quick to apologise, be quick to forgive. When Nim uses her carpentry skills to, to do the DIY, tell her how much you appreciate it. When Callum uses his cleaning skills to do the dishes, make sure you tell him how much you appreciate it. So be resolved to build your life around Jehovah. And as you do, your marriage will bring honour to the originator of marriage, the source of true love. And just like a well-fed fire, your love will blaze indefinitely. Oh!